it's your boy Atlas Nixon coming to you live from the 757. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I recently posted a poll on my Instagram story to see if I would post a video about this roller coaster and how it ties into my writing process and how I come up with my material. So um, I'm just here to answer some commonly asked questions. So, um, I first started with Connects when I was about in third grade. Um, I remember it was a Christmas and we were walking through Target. Me and my mom were walking through Target. I saw this thing on the shelf. I was like, mom, I gotta get that. And sure enough, Christmas morning, it was there. Um, I went crazy and I started building and I've pretty much been building ever since. Um, I started doing spoken word when I first got to college. Um, my freshman year, I had joined a group known as Bridging the Gap Urban Ministries, or BTGUM for short. Um, they specialize in many different ministries like dance, um, step, um, just interpretive um, ministries and things like that, mostly performance ministries, also rap and spoken word. And I didn't realize I had an affinity for it until I got there. Um, I'm glad you asked that. All right, so um, with spoken word, for those of you who don't know, spoken word, poetry, and things like that, it can be very intricate. Um, every word, every accent, every metaphor, and everything put together, um, it's all there for a reason. Um, there's very rarely any wasted words in um, poetry or spoken word or slam poetry or anything of that nature. Um, that kind of ties into the, like, the structure of like this roller coaster. If you look here, um, if you look closely, some of the things are really intricate. Um, if you really look at how much detail is going into each part, um, most of the things here, um, it, it's it's just really tight knit. Um, there's a lot. There's no directions for what you see here, but everything that you see is there for a reason. Right, is there to support another part of the piece to help support the track or there to support the main structure. But um, there is no wasted pieces here. Um, and how that ties into my writing process. Um, one thing I do, especially when I get home and get home for the breaks and I get to break this thing out again, I ask myself, you know, um, I need to write a new piece. All right, how can I write a piece? Or how can I write about a concept or a, a, a scripture or some basic truth in a way that nobody's ever heard it before. Um, so one kind of exercise I take myself through is I build roller coasters like this, but I ask myself the same basic question, but in a different way. So I ask myself, you know, how can I take this limited amount of pieces and build something that I would ride in real life, but you know, it takes up a little bit of space and it works and it's coherent. Um, so it's the same essential concept, but essentially what I'm doing is I'm, it's like an exercise for your brain, just getting your juices going. Um, some of my best pieces to this day have come out of this exercise. Pieces like That Guy, When My Shoes Were Cleaner, um, Island of Misfit Toys and Apex and some others have come out of doing this exercise. So um, that's the basics of it. Um, any other questions? I'm glad you asked. Um, if you look at the structure here, um, it's a little different. Um, the beams, the support beams, I've never used support beams in a roller coaster like this um, in a finished project. Um, this tower, a vert, like where all would you see uh, a chain lift hill that's vertical? You know, when you go 90 degrees up the chain lift hill. Um, if you look at it, it's odd. It, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's like you wouldn't see this a lot of places. And most people, if they saw this roller coaster in real life, they probably wouldn't ride it. But um, the reason why I, I believe it ties into this piece, because um, like I said, a lot of the other pieces like that guy, I love Misfit Toys, when my shoes were cleaner, etc. cetera, um, I had used a certain type of design and I had a certain type of design in mind when I built this and then eventually went on to write those pieces. But this design is different. And then the piece that I've recently written, written and the pieces I've recently written out of this design, um, 
they're kind of different in, in also as well. Down to the structure, down to the rhyme scheme, down to the very way they are put together. So um, that, but that's all I can tell y'all for right now. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and turn it on. Y'all can enjoy it.